Die großen Turniere bei der PDC. Er hat schon zwei Pro-Tour-Siege einfahren können. Er gehört inzwischen zu den Top 50 der Welt als aktuelle Nummer 40. Herzlich willkommen, The Voltage, Rob Cross! Rob Cross tritt an gegen den erfolgreichsten Spieler überhaupt aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum. Er hat sich in den letzten zwei Jahren in die Top 10 der Welt spielen können. Ist aktuell die Nummer 7 nach einem fantastischen Jahr 2016. Da holte er seinen ersten PDC-Titel auf der European Tour in Riesa. Er stand in seinem ersten Major-Finale bei den European Darts Championship. Ladies and Gentlemen, aus Wien, the gentle Mansur Suryovic! Auch an diesem Entscheidungstag heißt die Distanz Best of 11 Legs. Man braucht also sechs Legs, um jetzt in das Viertelfinale einzuziehen. Und auch den Caller dieses ersten Matches wollen wir herzlich begrüßen. Es ist The Voice himself, Russ Bray. Well, welcome to the My Mark Halle in Mannheim in Germany for the final day of the Happy Bet German Darts Grand Prix, the 10th Euro Tour event of the year. Four of them won by Michael Van Gerwen, four of them won by Peter Snakebite Wright, and one won by Michael Smith. Now, Michael Smith and Michael Van Gerwen could add to their halls today as we play from the last 16 down to the final tonight, £25,000 to the winner. But Peter Snakebite Wright is not going to add to his hall because he was overcome by the rebel Ronnie Hybrex. We've not only got a race to the title here, we've got a race to the European Championships in Hasselt in Belgium. And... This weekend is the final day of qualifying in the race to the World Grand Prix. And Ronnie Hybrex, having beaten Peter Wright, has given himself a great chance of making it there. But he takes on Vincent van der Voort, who also has designs on making it to the City West in Dublin. Likes of Nathan Aspinall could do it with an incredible run. And Robert Thornton, well, is he going to be there? We don't know. Champion two years ago. We start with Rob Cross and Mensur Sulevic. We know they're going to be there, but will they go on and claim the title here this evening in front of a packed crowd? Ladies and gentlemen, first leg, Rob to throw first. Game on! More than 3,000 German fans here to watch this today. It's Mensur Sulevic, the Austrian, against Rob Cross, the new sensation of PDC darts. I'm Dan Dawson and Chris Murphy in the comms box for the opening game of the afternoon. Yeah, thanks, Dan. And as always, the... Order of play will go in tandem with the draw bracket, so it's easy to follow. The winner of this takes on the winner of our next match in tonight's quarterfinals. That's Daryl Gurney against Ian White. And on yesterday's evidence, Rob Cross is in with a very good shout here because he was the better player by some distance. He defeated Jan Decker 6 3 with 103 average. Mensa Sulevic did ease through, but it wasn't as spectacular. Yeah, this half of the draw is the half without Michael Van Gerwen, who won on his return to action last weekend at the Dutch Darts Masters. He averaged 111 in destroying Richard North last night. And obviously, with 18 Euro Tour titles to his name, he is the guy everybody is looking at in the other half of the draw. There are other possibilities, we'll get to that later. But in this half of the draw, you've got to say Rob Cross is, is a contender. Mensur Sulevic has won one of these pretty much a year ago as Rob Cross... One Leaves 130. Daryl Gurney, the highest seeded player in this tournament, not to have won a Euro Tour already, the number six seed. He's got a chance. Ian White's made a final one of these before. Vincent van der Voort's won one. Benito's had a couple no, of finals. And Darren Webster won his first ranking tournament in 12 years. All of these guys in the same half of the draw. Fascinating to see who's going to come through and make the final. So you're saying they're all within a shout? No, of course they're all within it. There's 16 players here. They could all win it. Just don't know which one's going to. Well, we will find out by the end of this evening. 
Rob Cross on the verge of winning this first leg. Double 18, the target. And no problem at all. Confident start from Cross. Well, Rob Cross has beaten Mensur Sulevich on the two occasions on which they've met before. Uh, both have been tight games, though. Beat him in Milton Keynes in May, 6-4, and beat him 6-5 in Wigan pretty much a month later. And this is the thing with Rob Cross. His record against the vast majority of players is a winning one because he's winning far more games than he's losing. In his, and because it, it's all in his first year, it's all recent stuff. So, yeah, there are some players he, he hasn't played much or even he hasn't played at all. I didn't come across Phil Taylor as yet. Yeah? May never do so in his professional career. He's running out of opportunities. But most players he's coming up against, he's thinking, oh, I played you three months ago and I beat you. 135. Sulevich, of course, a man this time last year started to really... Well, he found his feet, but he really started to push on, didn't he? Won mm. his first PDC title. That came on the European tour. Was in turn seeded wow. second for his consistent performances over the year and went on to reach a final of the European Championship. Yeah, his first big TV final. Up to number seven in the world now, Mensur Sulevich. Disappointment at the World Grand Prix because a lot of people had tipped him to go all the way because of darts like that and the fact that he was regarded as perhaps the best double hitter in the game at the time. Mm. Trouble 20. For the bullseye. For a break of throw and a 2-0 lead. One right on four. And she requires 78. 78 then for Sulevich. A 20 for double top. 58. And Cross has a chance for an early break. Missed the ball, so he's going to get two darts at a preferred double this time. And he ups for double eight. Well, all kinds of gurning and giggling going on from Rob Cross, but the chance has gone. Three darts missed for this leg now, including that one at the bullseye. Mensor is missing as well. Oh, but the last dart saves the gentle. Double ten comes to his aid. Rob Cross, well, he's already missed more darts at double in this game than he did in the entirety of the, of the match against Jan Decker. When he beat him 6-3, only missed two darts at double, and he took out checkouts of 150, 104, and 112. Rob Cross was finishing superbly, and he's talked about these new darts that he's got, which he says are overwhelmingly an improvement on the ones he's been using since a teenager. I mean, they're all the right weights, for example. There were two grams difference between his other set. But he did say, even though he feels that the scoring is there and they're behaving as he wants them to, One when it comes to hitting doubles 30. under pressure, he's not quite where he was with the old ones as yet. Got to get used to them. And I think it's just a confidence thing, isn't it? We had seen with the previous start some wild slips, hadn't we? A yeah. few times, one on the European Tour, one on a, a Pro Tour event where he went for, I think it was double 14 and hit the skinny bit of the 11. Just a, a bizarre slip. And it was something that he was aware of was happening from time to time. But he said it was kind of a mental block that he knew that the dart wasn't right in his hand, but he couldn't resist He couldn't stop it. himself from throwing it, could he? He was so <laughs> far through, so far steeped in blood that he couldn't return. But you were saying yesterday it's the first time in a while that he's not made it to the quarterfinals last weekend. Wow. If he doesn't beat Mensur here for a third time in a row, if he doesn't, it'll be a seven tournaments without making a quarterfinal. That is the worst 
Yeah, sorry, not the longest, the longest yeah. run yeah, he's had long, in yeah. his professional <laughs> career. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hope you a full team. And Willie, let's see if he can take this out for a 13 darter. He can, and on his throw, Rob Cross has thrown a couple of 13 darters. That means Mensor is going to be have to have to throw 12s to break him if that carries on. Mensor is capable of it. His little back leg dangling in the air as the darts unerringly find the red bit. Rob Cross is going for the old Mensa. I never knew he'd never really well, he just seen that. it work for Mensa. And it's worked for <laughs> him as well. You only need one leg. A couple of darting flamingos on stage at the German Darts Grand Prix. Oh, just a four perfect darts. One so players go six darts into the nine three times yesterday, I think. Yeah, Simon Whitlock had a bounce out as well. Yes during a potential nine dart attempt. 57. Carl Anderson went six darts into it twice in one game. Carl Anderson, five consecutive ton plus averages on the European tour. He's in that same quarter of the draw as Michael Van Gerwen, arguably the two in-form players right now. Yep. Would they clash in the quarters? Well, Anderson will have to beat Yella Klaassen and Van Gerwen will have to beat Gerwen Price for that to happen. Last two games of the afternoon session here. Yeah, before that, Daryl Gurney against Ian White. Darren Webster against Benito van der Pass. Ronnie Hybrex against Vincent van der Voort in a significant game for World Grand Prix qualification. Then it's Whitlock Aspinall, Michael Smith, Joe Cullen before the two games you just mentioned. Mensa Sullivic, of course, will be back in action next weekend, making his debut appearance at the Champions League of Darts. Such is the rise of the Serbian-born Austrian. 61. Well, double 18. Mensor Sulevic looking to fire a 13 darter in on his own throw, just as Rob Cross has done on both occasions he's thrown first. Game and he responds in kind. We've got a level game and a fascinating one at that. And the two previous meetings of these two went 10 and 11 legs. It might well be another close encounter. One. Well, right now, both players are playing at a similar standard to that which they produced yesterday. One run of 40. Tulevich, around 90. Rob Cross, who averaged 103 yesterday, is up at 104 and a half. One run of 40. That's rising. 40. So you'd think if it carries on like this, he will get more chances. Yeah. But we did see yesterday... Michael Smith managed to hold off Jamie Lewis, beat him 6-5. He had to survive a match dart, but he was averaging nine, almost ten points lower than Jamie Lewis, and he was strong enough on his own throw. Admittedly, he, he struggled to challenge Jamie Lewis against the throw for a lot of the game. Easy. Jamie Lewis fired in seven 180s, incredibly. But it was just that one leg where he got the break, and that was that. Yeah, it's not the average that wins a match, is it? It's not even the missed doubles. It's when the doubles are missed. Lewis missed in the final leg, and Michael Smith hit. Ninety-seven. That'll do. Seventy-five remains. It's not going to be a thirteen data for Rob Cross, but it won't matter as long as he sees it off in the next visit, because Mensur could be. Well, I was going to say, he could be on double 18. 100. As it is, he's going to need all three darts to see off the 116, but will he get a go at it? Trouble 17, double 12. 18 for tops it is then. Game shot in the fifth leg. Run for a six leg mid-center. He always sets himself before taking aim at a double Rob Cross. It seems to do the trick. Well, he missed those three darts in the wow. second leg to break Mensur Sulevic. But he's not missed a dart at double at any other part of the game, Rob Cross. And that was, under some pressure, good sign that wow. he is feeling 
comfortable with his arrows. And I mean, you, you talk to Rob Cross, and he just there doesn't seem to be any fear or trepidation at all. It doesn't matter who he's up against. He wants to take on the best. He thinks he can do it. He thinks he can beat them. And he, he's even genuinely talking about, you know, I want to be world number one one day. I want to be world champion. Yeah, and he doesn't give any impression that he's surprised himself in any way. And he fires in another maximum. I think he's surprised a few people around the world about just with how good he has been in this first year. Two titles to his name already. The next logical step you would feel would be to claim a Euro Tour one. Yeah, there's a few players in that bracket. Yeah, Daryl Gurney next up, one of those. But we were talking yesterday about, about Richard North reaching, potentially reaching the World Grand Prix in his first season as a pro, reaching the match play. Yeah. There aren't many who do that, are there? Superb achievement from Rob Cross, who will now get a second chance at breaking the Sullivich throw. Yeah, and the likelihood is he gets two visits from here. 20. Double five. Yeah, 12 data from Rob back. Cross. Best Rob leg of the match. 87 checkout. And Mensor Sulevic, we said, if he continues, that average, I mean, he's almost 20 points in the averages right now. You're going to give chances to your opponent in that situation. And Rob Cross has taken one. And look at this. Look at it. Three maximum for Rob Cross. He just followed an 87 checkout. Point up the 75 in the previous leg. And it's the second time he's kicked off with a 180. Can he follow it up this time? Oh, a switch down. Interesting. 133. Well, there's plenty of room in that treble 20 bed for Rob Cross to keep piling on in there. But there will be no nine data. Not well, just in that leg just today, just on the European Tour him. forever. He's piling the pressure on Menso Solivic here, though. The number three seed could be set to depart the tournament in the last 16. Well, and Darrell Gurney would become the highest seeded player in the top half of the draw at number six. Then only the 10 wow. and 11 seeds left well, after that in that part of the draw. Ian White and Benito van der Pass. Well, Mentor Sulevic is one of only two players in this top half of the draw who've won one of these before. Vincent van der Voort's the other, and he's an unseeded player here this weekend. So. Double 16. And Rob Cross. 5-2. And if you just took that second leg where he missed three darts for it, he had one at the bull, one at double eight and one at double four. They're the only darts he has missed at double. I mean, it has been superb. We talked about Michael Van Gerwen last night, averaging 111. Rob Cross is in the same sort of territory right now. Look at those legs. 13, 13, 15, 12, 11. What he's done there is get a lead against Mensur Silovic at 3-2 and then almost completely shut him out with barely any, any chink in his armour for Mensur to try and exploit. Well, this is a tournament average of around 107 now for Rob Cross. If he carries this on... It's good enough to win it. You it certainly think. is. And he's not showing any signs of taking his foot off the gas. Just getting better and better and stronger and stronger as this match and as this tournament goes on. Not going down without a fight, Mensor Sulevich, but... Rob Cross, what's he going to leave himself? Yeah, he used to the 25, gets below 1-2-1, one, one. so one treble, next visit, gets him a dart at a double for the match, rather than a dart at the bullseye, and he is going to get a go at that 1-1-6, one, one, Rob Cross. And he has not missed a dart at a double since that second leg. Robbie require 116. Is this his moment? Has Menso thrown his last darts in the Happy Bet German Darts Grand Prix? Because Rob Cross wants double 18 to move through to this evening's quarterfinals. 
98. Hence you require 84. Well, it was the first one he hit in this match, and it's the first one he's missed for a while. Still on. The groans of the crowd. Oh, well, now it's not. A mentor knows the game may be up. Rob Robert Cross. 12 darter, 11 darter to round it off with a 13 darter. 14 or 15 will do. And 15 it is, and Rob Cross, his average has just dipped slightly there, but 109, it is world-class stuff again from the man recently nicknamed Voltage. He is shooting up the world of darts. He has blasted his way into the quarterfinals here at the Happy Bet German Darts Grand Prix. And who knows? It's probably between him and Daryl Gurney, who's the favourite to go on and make the final for this half of the draw. It could well be Gurney faces in the quarterfinals. The Northern Irishman is coming up next here in Mannheim as he takes on another former Euro Tour finalist in the diamond Ian White. Two seeded players clashing here in Mannheim. We've just seen two seeded players clash and it was a one-sided affair. 109 average for Rob Cross. It could be today. The 26-year-old from Hastings claims his first Euro Tour title. Rob, congratulations. Average of 109. The best on European Tour for you? Yeah, I think so. Um, it, it, I'll be honest with you, these darts are going strength to strength. Um, at home, they're going a lot better. But in fairness, I feel more consistent with them. My last starts to have three grams between bottom and top weight. So a lot of difference. Now I've got these, I've got something to work with and hopefully get better. To stay relaxed, is that one of your big strengths you have in your game? I think, um, I think I'm quite level-headed, um, even off the dartboard, quite down to earth. But um, yeah, you've got to come up here, you've got to be relaxed. And, and the thing is, you play top quality players every time. Mentor, brilliant, absolute brilliant. And a nice guy off the dartboard too. But, um, but you've got a job to do at the same time. You've got to be relaxed and you've got to get up there and do it. Great job, see you later again. Thank you very much. Rob Cross, toller Auftritt von ihm. Er ist mit neuen Darts unterwegs und er sagt, er kommt immer besser ins Spiel hinein. Er spielt konstanter, als er das vorher getan hat.